CRO has this initiative called Zoom Way of Selling. Basically, Zoom Way of Selling is we're trying to go from one product to a platform. They, they had such crazy growth that for the CROs in the room, this makes sense. It's like, okay, our user base just went through the roof. I'm less focused on new client acquisition and I'm more focused on how do I expand that user base. And so, but the problem is you got a bunch of green sellers who legitimately, some of the enablement team is in the room today. And I remember one of them telling me that they were submitting orders. There were so many orders. It was just basically like, who can put it through the system? That's why I say, I felt like we were in a little bit of this like graduate school case of, man, how do you, how do you go grow the user base with more products, but how do you create a system and training for a bunch of people who understandably don't know what that looks like. When they came to us about the focus on the frontline manager, obviously that's so core to our ethos that I'm like, yes, this is exactly where you focus. Because if you focus on all the reps, you're going to lose. You have to focus on the leader because they will be the force multiplier. If you look at the year over year, we were up over 300%. With that, growing at that rapid pace, we had to hire at unprecedented rates. With that, with that problem comes challenges, right? When we wanted to create a structured uh, coaching pro I mean, process, and then of course, how can we measure the impact of our coaching efforts around that? Again, end-to-end -end accountability for uh, an adoption for our Zoom way of selling as well. And then, of course, lastly, we wanted to make sure that we set a framework and structure for our frontline leaders to follow.